Hello everyone. Today what I'm going to show you is how you can give a print option in PHP. So let me show you what I'm going to actually do in this video is this is the print page that I have made and on the print button this print preview will be shown to you and you can save as PDF. So we will be doing it stepwise. So first one will be like creating a database, then fetching that data into a table, then creating a print page, and at the last writing JavaScript code for print database. So I have already created a database with name ERP test, and in which I have created a table that is user, and in table I have inserted some rows with like username and email. Now second step is to make a connection with the database. So for that I'll be writing the code PHP code. So let me first create a new file. So that will be like database.php and let me define a variable that is cone and for MySQL connection we need MySQL I connect and it will need basically four parameters first one is the name of your server that is local host and after that the uh, username and password for the like for authentication so for that we have root and password blank after that you fourth that is the your db name so my db name is erp test so that's what i'm going to write and after that i'm going to check the connection that connection is made or not so for that writing if condition with my sql i connect error number and i'm going to like echo the error so for that i'm writing fail to connect to database and mysql i connect error that will display if any error is there and i'm going to include the, this database file into my index.php file Let's check it in browser if any error is there in connection or not. So after refreshing, you can see there is no error. So our connection is made to database. So next, we will be moving to third point. That is, we are going to display our data into table. So for that, I'm going to write HTML code. So for that, giving title, that is PHP export. And then I'm going to define a div and i'm just you know writing the link for bootstrap and i'm going to give class container then i'm giving an another div that is row and another div inside that that is called md12 and then i'm going to define my table And before that, let me write h2 that is user data. And I'm going to give a table class, table, table bordered, and then table header. So t head, then tr, and th. This is the basic, you know, table structure. And I'm going to write serial number, user, and email and in table body i'm going to call my like fetch my data so i'll be writing user query select star from my table that is user and i'm going to you know get the results of the query and i'm going to loop i'm going to fetch all the five data five or six so loop it and tr t, 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 define a variable for serial number and echo that after that fetch the you know to column basically that is username and email 
So let's see in browser. So there you can see our uh, data has fetched now that has six data we have. So what next we want is to give an option for print option. Now let me write div class with text center and I'm going to give an anchor tag that is href and uh, I'm going to give user data print dot php and I'm giving a class of button that is button primary and write the text that is print let's see in browser refresh the browser and there you can see a print button now let me just copy all of that and I'm pasting it in the print page and what I need to change in this is the URL that is for print option so I'm giving it a button right there with the print value and I'm writing the like on click function that will be like use JavaScript window dot print so this will like open up the print preview and then I'm writing a class that is button primary and next thing that I'm font is link my CSS so write link and pass the like reference to print.css and one main point is that you need to pass media equals to print in that and let me write in print.css at the rate page size a4 and margin 0 and I want I'll be giving an ID to the print button so I'm defining the CSS right now and I'm displaying none and visibility none so let me just define the ID that is print button so let me open the chrome and refresh mm. when you click on the like preview button so you can see preview is opened and you can save that as PDF or you can pass that to any printer so that's a PDF format I am showing you so that will be the data that will be saved thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel and see you in next video